Hey, what is going on YouTube? I want to welcome you to the University of Aesthetics YouTube channel. My name is Evan, and today I'm going to be taking you through with some commentary on my rear delt workout. So, um, this uh, this is my second shoulder workout of the week, and it is primarily a rear delt workout. So, let's just dive right into the commentary here. Um, my first exercise is a one arm dumbbell rear delt fly. So I usually pull up a bench, put it at about 30 degrees, and um, I kind of lean on it to do these flies. So I'll do each arm individually, and I'll shoot for anywhere from 15 to 30 reps on these. So um, you can see that I'm not bending my arm at the elbow joint, and really trying to concentrate on just using my, my rear delt here. So um, Occasionally what I'll do is I'll actually twist, so I'll, I'll bring my hand in, and then as I'm going up to the, the top of the movement, I'll kind of twist a little bit like you're pouring out the, the pitcher on those. So that's the first exercise, four sets on there, 15 to 30 reps. The second exercise that I do is a incline bench, um, leaning one arm lateral raise. So for these, these target uh, more of the lateral head of the delt, and the, the previous exercise targets more of the, the rear delt. So I will actually superset these two together, and I will go for anywhere from, on this, pretty much the same rep count on these as well, anywhere from 15 to 30 reps. So um, you can see that on the eccentric motion, I'm going really slow, so um, almost like a three-second negative on these and I'm only using 10 pounds on these so um, by leaning into the bench like that you really can't cheat and so it really forces you to use a, a very light weight for these so um, like I said on these I will also do four sets and I will superset these with the one arm rear delt fly so um, I have the bench set so for the the previous exercise I have the bench set about 30 degrees and then on these I move it up one more notch so probably like 45 degrees and um, you can see here with a different angle letting the weight down very very slow and controlled and then exploding up so it doesn't take a lot of weight on these to really feel it and it really forces you to keep some strict form so I really like to do these um, on the other shoulder day that I've I've made a video for um, I focus more on using heavier weight and, you know, just the, kind of that blunt force trauma to really, really just, um, smash the muscle. And, and on this day, it's more controlled and more, um, slower negatives. So, um, it's a little bit different, but those are the first two exercises. I superset those two. And, um, this is after I've done 30 minutes of cardio. So this is technically supposed to be my off day. But I always throw in some extra shoulder work, so um, you can't. I don't think you could uh, under or overtrain the rear delts. I think that uh, they're an area for a lot of people that that needs to be improved, including myself. So I want to make sure that I hit them hard. So uh, those are the first two exercises. Um, I sped up this next clip because it's just a different angle for the one arm uh, dumbbell rear delt fly. So you can see it from a different angle here. Um, nice and controlled and trying to really lead with that elbow um, so on this one like I said I do that that twist kind of pouring out the the pitcher on the next fly I I do not do that and I'll kind of show you why but um, just do both arms right into a row you can get a quick breather between but like I said you superset these two and it's a great way to kick off the workout um, like I said, this workout's primarily rear delts, but I also throw in um, a little bit of lateral and one exercise for uh, the, the front head of the delt, the anterior delt. So I'm um, just going to wrap up this clip here. But yeah, 15 to 30 reps on these should feel a good burn. All right, so the next exercise is a different form of lateral raise. So on, it's just a regular seated two arm lateral raise. So on the other shoulder workout that I've made a video for, I do the one arm um, 
one arm at a time, leaning against a bench standing. So then I have the the previous exercise, which is the leaning into the bench, and then lastly I have this uh, seated one here. So you can see there's a lot of different variations uh, of hitting lateral raise. So I try and hit it from all these different angles uh, just to make sure that I'm not uh, leaving anything out. So here you can see I'm uh, doing a very slow negative on these as well and leading with um, kind of leading with the elbow I don't I do a, a very slight twist at the end so I know pouring out the pitcher type you know you've probably heard that from Steve Cook and other people but um, I just try to do it very slight at the end and on these it's four sets and also anywhere from 15 to you know 25 reps um, just legging out what I can there so these are just seated. I think I used 15 pounds on that one. You don't have to go very heavy, especially if you have really good control and you're slowing down that negative. So I superset those with a um, two-arm dumbbell rear delt fly, and I call these chest supported. Some people put their head to the bench. I like to put my chest to it, and you know if you're kind of like a, a germaphobe or whatever, you could always lay a towel down in front of the bench and put your face to it, but. Um, so I superset these with the with the seated lateral raise, and these are really targeting the rear delt, and obviously the lateral raise is targeting the the lateral head. Um, and on these I do four sets, and also anywhere from 15 to 25 reps on these. So you can see on these there's, I'm not twisting the the dumbbell as much. It's more um, kind of just locked into that one position, and really trying to focus on using that rear delt and um, yep I superset these with the lateral raise so those that's kind of the the second pairing um, and then I could just show yeah for this clip just another another view of that um, chest supported rear delt fly so um, this would have been probably my my second set and I just wanted to include this clip just to show you guys a different view of it so um, you know, knees slightly bent, uh, and you don't really want to round your back out either. So just knees slightly bent, kind of in that ready position, and then your chest just goes to the the top of the bench. And I believe here I have the bench set at about thirty degrees. So this would be the fourth exercise, and like I said, anywhere from fifteen to twenty five reps. And this is another rear delt targeting exercise. So um, basically for this workout, I'm putting out all the other rear delt exercises that I didn't include in my other workout. Um, pretty much the only one that I'm missing from all of them is probably like rope pulls for rear delts. But I've tried those in the past and I didn't really like how I couldn't really get a good mind muscle connection with it. So I usually don't do rope pulls. But if you like those, I think it's a great exercise for it. But um, so the fifth exercise here is just your regular um, pec deck um, fly, your reverse fly there. So um, nice and controlled. I wasn't using too much weight, and on these, once again, 15 to 25 reps, nice and controlled, really trying to put a lot of blood into that rear delt muscle. So um, on these, I don't superset with anything. It's just the straight exercise. And I'll keep the rest times pretty short, probably anywhere from like 30 to 45 second rest time. And yep, just trying to burn them out. This would be the last rear delt exercise, so, um, but it's also the fifth. And then the last exercise of this entire workout is a incline bench alternating dumbbell front raise. So on these, you can use a bar, you could use a barbell if you wanted to. You could also use dumbbells like I am um, and you just alternate so I start in a like a hammer grip and as I come up to the top of the movement I twist into a supinated grip what I what I try to do on these is I'll do one rep each arm with the hammer and then I'll do the next rep kind of twisting it to that um, the pronated grip there so I might have said supinated before but I, I mean hammer grip to pronated grip and on these anywhere from 15 to t uh, 15 to 25 reps um, really just trying to burn them out I wanted to include one front or anterior uh, deltoid exercise because 
the workout so primarily heavily um, rear delts and lateral head so I wanted to include these in and yeah that pretty much wraps up the the workout I know it's pretty short but like I said this would be this would actually be a scheduled rest day for me but uh, after my cardio I always include some shoulders in there because um, with physique in men's physique or classic physique I don't think you can ever have um, too wide of shoulders or, or anything like that so and and the rear delts are always an exercise or a muscle group that uh, that can be improved in my opinion so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh, I wanted to include the, uh, the this rear delt workout because in my other shoulder day there I only included a couple exercises for rear delts so this is what I do to to try and grow those rear delts um, like I said I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm always going to be cranking out more content here, so stay tuned for more, and thank you for watching. I appreciate it.